Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to another episode of the Prophetic Worship Gathering. Um, time for soaking in prayer and meditation. So, um, thank you for joining in. If this is your first time uh, um, tuning in, please uh, make sure you hit that follow button. And uh, you can also... Um, Donate. We have that prayer link for that donation there. Uh, and I will receive any amount appreciative to help us with our ministry here and, and costs and so forth. Um, and also, if you need any prayers, we have that as well. So you can hit the prayer link on there for, for prayers as well. So let's um, go ahead and go into it. Uh, I mentioned before, um, if you um, can get comfortable uh, um, during this time of just zoning out with the Lord and stuff, you can do this at, at your table or whatever you do, and, and just uh, close your eyes. And, and uh, you know, I got a lot of testimonies of people, people have dreams and visions and stuff, but also during the time, uh, people have called and said that, They've they've actually felt some healings in their bodies and stuff like that. So there's been actually good testimonies regarding that. And also, I mentioned about the frequencies that we do. So, you know, we do tune uh, uh, to that frequency of healing. I call it God healing on there. So um, we do that as well. So I encourage that and uh, just for you to to uh, be comfortable regarding that. So there you go. Let's just join in. And uh, I'll talk to you toward the end. Like what you're seeing, make sure you join with us in our prophetic worship gathering. It's a time of prayer, soaking, and stuff every Thursday night at 7.30. And if you want to subscribe, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. As well, we have another channel called Rumble with exclusive news. All that you can't find here. Um, if you want to give... We welcome that. Uh, you can donate to the link below. We really appreciate it. We're not making any money here on YouTube because of the censorship, but uh, we appreciate it. We also have a link for prayer as well. Uh, we started up a 24-7 prayer as well. You can check that out on Rumble, but the link's below. Appreciate it. Now let's go back to our prison t- your presence in this room tonight, Lord. Lord, we open the doors, the windows of heaven tonight in this room, all over the world tonight. We ask, Lord, that you just come and fill us, empty us right now, Father God, from all the stuff the world and all its needs and all its uh, all its stuff tonight, Father God, and we just give you praise tonight. We just enter the Holy of Holies tonight as as your angels gathered in your throne, where it says, Holy, Holy is the Lord God Almighty, who is and is to come. Tonight, Lord God, we ask that you just come and fill us and deliver us, Lord, and wash us. Renew our spirits tonight, Father God, and our vision and our souls tonight, Lord. Bring us in that place, Lord, of Psalms 23. Still waters and green pastures tonight, Father God. Praise you, Jesus. So I just encourage you to tonight just to relax and Whatever you can do to, to get in that place of, of emptiness and being light in his presence. If you could just picture yourself just laying down by the still waters and that green pastures according to Psalms 23. And let the Lord just come and take you away tonight. Because he is the author, the finisher of our faith. And Lord, we ask, Lord, that you would just come and examine us tonight, Father God.
Lord, the world cries out for mercy and love and quietness tonight, Father God.
all the dreams, all the nightmares, all the aches and pain, and whatever is going through your mind tonight. Just give it to the Lord, give it to that basket tonight, and let him just fill you tonight, and let him take you away to his holy of holies tonight. Angels, come. Come and invade this room tonight and touch each soul here tonight. Bring them into your presence tonight, Father God. ourselves to you. You 
are the potter, we are the clay. Come and mold the chain. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Bless his holy name. Who heals all of our all our diseases, all of our iniquities, who satisfies our soul.
your vein, to your mind and your eyes and your spirit, making all those nightmares go away, and giving you peace, giving you peace, giving you peace. It's a gift of peace we want.
massaging my heart, massaging my heart, massaging my heart, massaging my heart. All those 
whose emptiness fill it with peace fill it with peace healing healing by the spirit of God come and heal those all those aches and pain tonight God all those worries tonight loss of vision tonight come spirit of God bring your spirit of peace in this land tonight restore the land Father God restore the harvest Lord restore the harvest Lord salvation 
we want to drink water from the wells of salvation. We want to drink water from the wells. God just come and draw you in to his river tonight of healing, the fullness and comfort. Jesus said that I've come that you have life and have it more abundantly. He desires you. He wants to fill you tonight. He wants to, he wants to replace those things that don't belong, that that is eating you up tonight, that's robbing from you, that's trying to steal from you, and replace it tonight. So Lord, we give you permission, God, tonight to restore, to restore, restore our souls tonight.
weights Making things light Simple Free of worry Stress and strife Confusion and fear Bringing peace in your mind Bringing light to your soul Bring it.
soul as your eyes as the light of the body to your body to your soul in the beginning there was light and there was no darkness at all his word was in the beginning heaven and earth shall pass away but his word shall not
just rise up in your soul be full of light
I see a vision of uh, the Lord just bringing his mist of coolness, uh, just like how Adam was walking in the coolness of day, and, and that rainbow just shining, and the sun just and the green greenness is around, and all the birds and the butterflies flying around and stuff, and all the animals. the peace and the beauty of his majesty and his peace just resting in your soul and your spirit restoring back to order how it should be thank you Jesus just restore it now Lord each person here Lord just restore bring adjustment to their spirits tonight and their soul and their bodies tonight because we worship you, Lord, with all of our hearts, our mind, and our strength, Lord. our bodies, that our bodies be like living sacrifices in your soul tonight. the world just keeps us busy and it keeps going faster and faster and faster technology just going faster and faster and then we get so locked up in social media and texting and we just feel like we're going to miss out on stuff and I believe the Lord just wants to empty us tonight into that still waters renewed and empty, be poured out so that we can be filled up. Just like an oil change, you know, we go into a car and it removes all that black goop, all that thing. <laughs> well, that's what the world does to us. It just dumps all that stuff on us and it, you know, even our filters get so clogged up, you know where it needs to be washed and cleansed. Just like our computers where it gets full of cookies and starts slowing down, you wonder why, why it's taking so long to upload and download and <laughs> get so stuck full of stuff and just like a, just like a jar of flies and things get all clogged up, you know? I believe tonight the Lord is just just releasing all that stuff, all that all that clogging water pours in their pipes and pour down that holy draino so that it can flush all that stuff away so that the water can flow through. So Lord, we give you that permission, Lord God. Take all that. Take all that confusion, Lord. Take all that anxiety and that fear. All that worry and sickness, lack and disease. Because, Lord, we know that it's not in heaven, Lord. There's peace. There's love, joy, peace. And let it reign in our soul now, Lord. Replenish, Lord. Just wash it all out tonight. Cleanse us, Lord, of all that uh, impurities tonight. Tonight, every soul here, every person tonight, just wash them, Lord. Wash their bodies, Lord, their cells, their, their minds, and their spirits tonight. If all the lies of the enemy have spoken to you, and all the people that the enemy uses to bring terror and fear and anxiety. We just wash those things off of you right now. Every fear, every lie of the enemy right now to be washed off by the blood of Jesus. Cleanse, Lord. Blood of Jesus come and just cleanse. Cleanse tonight so that they can have the purity tonight. Draw in that 
river of Psalms 1 is it says that we are a tree that's planted by the rivers of water that our tree that our fruit will not wither but it shall spring forth fruit even in the time even in this time it doesn't matter what time that our fruit will spring up will multiply and so Lord God right now Father God vision bring back all the vision and all the dreams, all the purpose, all their callings, all their directions, what they're called to do in this moment, this this timeline right now, Father God. In fact, Lord God, renew the timeline in their spirits right now, Father God. Everything that the, the enemy has robbed and tried to rob from them, Lord, be restored now. Take back tonight. Take back the years that the locusts have eaten tonight where there's injustice, Lord, uncertainty, Lord. Broken promises, Lord. <clears throat> Prophetic words that have not come to pass. Because you said that you would finish. You're the author, the finisher of our faith tonight. So come, Lord God. Just bring, push us through, God. Walk us through, God. So I picture like like Adam walking with Jesus, you know. It's like he's helping him. He's like walking with Adam, walking with Adam, walking with you tonight. Helping you through, through recovery, so that you can walk, you can talk, be strengthened by him tonight know your purpose and your plans, his plans for you, his plans for you, heaven's plan, heaven's plan, not the world's plan, but his plans for you. Restore now, Lord, Spirit God. Touch, Lord God. Touch and heal tonight. Bring back, Lord, what is lost tonight. Open those doors, God, where they're stuck, Lord. And, and those who are in that hallway and don't know what doors to open, God, would you just walk with them tonight, God? Walk with them tonight, God. And show them, God. Spirit of God, come. And according to Psalms 91, you said that you would send your angels to be in charge over us. Lord, we're, Lord, we're tired, God. And, and we're desperate. We ask, Lord, that you would just come and be our guide tonight. Just like how Daniel was praying in that cell in front of those lions. And just like how Daniel was praying for 21 days and wondering if you hear him. Would you send that messenger, Lord? Would you send that Gabriel that's assigned to them to, to make it across tonight? Give them, give them, God, the desires of their hearts, God. Some of us have forgotten what our desires are, Lord, because we've been so clouded up, Lord, God. So, Lord, just make it clear. Just like that song, Lord, I can see clearly now that the rain is gone, all the mud is gone, all the dirt, the storm is gone. Just clear it up, Lord, God. Make a clear path tonight, God. Bring a clear path, Father God. Bring the joy back, Lord. Bring the love back, Lord. Bring the peace back, God. Bring the fruit, Lord. Bring the fruit. Bring the fruit, God. Let us have some fruit tonight, God. It's okay to eat of the fruit. Huh. Bring us back in the garden. Bring us back in the garden. Meet, Father God. Strip away, God, strip away all those things, those weights, God, all those things that we carry, God. We, we shouldn't even carry, be carrying all those heavy luggage, Lord. Some of us bring too much luggage in that plane, in that airport, God. Just like when we go to Hawaii, we shouldn't be bringing all that luggage because we don't need that. All we need is some shorts and some t-shirts and, and some swim trunks. We bring too much stuff, Lord. We bring too much stuff, God. So, Lord, tonight, just lighten the load tonight, Lord. The 
bare necessities, Lord, the vision, God, so they can see, Lord, clearly tonight. Lord, remove all the cookies, God. Ha! Bring your seat cleaner tonight and cleanse us, Lord. Cleanse our mind, God. All those tracking, God. All those things that slow us down, Father God, just like that computer, Lord. But we need to just clear out our cookies, God. So tonight, Lord, clear our cookies tonight, God. <laughs> yes, Lord, clear it out, Lord. What about she cut up? And all that spyware the enemy tries to spy on us tonight. Put a blockage, Lord God. Remove that. Every tracking tonight. Every tracking, every... That's what it is, Lord. Just remove every tracking, every thing that the enemy is trying to watch over us like a surveillance or whatever, Lord God, just remove that, God, of every road, Father God, where the enemy comes coming in like a like a, a window, a broken window that he comes in in the middle of the night and tries to haunt us, or that area in our, in our room or our bedroom, whatever he comes in and tries to spook us in the middle of the night, God, Lord, we just Pleaded with the blood of Jesus tonight. In fact, Father God, in our households, Lord, just like how we anoint our house, Lord, with the with the oil and the blood tonight, God, we just anoint our bodies, Father God, that's holy in your sight, God, and we just anoint our spirits, God, so that, that our spirits are clear, Father God, and Lord God, just bring us in just like a, a holy, holy chiropractor, Lord God, to, to bring adjustments to our souls and our bones and our backs, God. How? Shikara Baba. Bring healing, God. Bring healing tonight, God. Not only in our bodies, God, but our minds and our spirits tonight, God. Lord, we talk about revival. We talk about all that stuff, God. We want to see it. We want to taste it, Lord. We want to be a part of it. We want to be in the river. Not holding back the river, Lord, just like bunch of beavers, Lord, holding up that dam, God. We want to break the dam, Lord, so that the river will flow, God. We won't be planted, Lord, God, in that river, just like Psalms 1, Lord. We won't be that tree that's planted in that river tonight, God. Let it be planted deep, deep, deep tonight, God. Open, open our eyes, God. Open our spirit tonight. Open our ears, God. Lord, some of us, Lord God, where our ears are so clogged up, God, that we can't hear because of the noise, Lord. And Lord, tonight, Father God, would you just clear the noise, God? Would you get rid of all those nasty neighbors, Lord? All those haunting people, God? All those problem people, Lord? All those prowlers, God? <laughs> yeah. Cleanse them, Lord God. Just like how it is in natural and the spirit tonight. You have nasty neighbors tonight. Let the Spirit of God just come and wash them out, flood them out tonight, God. Just like how He floods your spirit, cleanses you tonight. Shikara Baba Sokoro Baba. Holy Boulevard tonight. Oh, Shikaba. Oh, yeah. Lord, as you were with Moses. As you were Mo with Moses, you're with us tonight. As you were with Moses, you are with us tonight. Yeah, she got up on us. As you were with Ezekiel, you're with us tonight. We want to see. We want to see the wheels in the sky. We want to speak life upon the dead bones. So everything that's dead tonight, Father God, our dreams, our desires, all those prophetic words that we get <laughs> that haven't come to pass, God, we just speak life upon tonight, just like how Dolby Max speaks life. We speak life tonight. We speak life, resurrection, life tonight. Come forth, life. Seeds come alive. Come alive. Everything that's dead come alive tonight. No more talk. No more prophetic words, Lord God. 
Yeah, we want to see it, God. Tonight, God. Tonight's the night, God. Tonight's the night, Lord. Come alive. Come alive. Come alive. Dead man, come alive tonight. Dead woman, come alive. Dead child, come alive. Dead dreams, come alive. Come alive. Callings that are dead, come alive. Come alive now tonight, Lord. Send your angel that's in charge over us in Psalms 91 to direct us. Be in charge now. Be in charge tonight, God. Come alive tonight. Come alive, Lord. Come alive tonight. Come alive, come alive. Spirit, come alive. Yeah, come alive. Break forth the day. Spirit of God, come alive. Open our eyes. Come on, God. Open our eyes. Open our eyes, God. Open our eyes. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. us in that land God some of us need to get that get on that plane and go to different places where where because we, where we are is dead and we want to go forth where it's alive now Lord so Lord just move us into that place God tonight that's alive Lord where they're celebrated not tolerated God where they're growing and flurry God she got she got on out of the caves out of the caves it's time to get out of the caves time to raise time to raise time to raise time to raise oh she come Get out of those cages and start flying free. Free. Just like Martin Luther King talks about I'm free. Set your people free. What the Son of Man has set free is free indeed. Set them free, set them free. Let the bunnies set free. Let the chickens go free. Ha. Let the cows go free. Let the horses go free. Let your people go free tonight. Free. Free, yeah, free tonight. Lord, free them, Lord God, from those dead end jobs, Lord, that are holding them captive and where the enemy is just saying, Well, now you're stuck, you're going to be here for a while. I break those words in Jesus Christ's name and I declare that it's free tonight. What the Son of Man sets free is free indeed. In the name of Jesus the Master, chicken up. I speak to that mountain of lack and poverty be cast into the sea. I, I speak to that mound of inefficiency, not enough, limitation, be broken, set free tonight, set the free, set the free tonight. Yeah, all those presents, all the things that belong to you by the Spirit of God.
So I hope you had that time of uh, just relaxation and just soaking in the Lord and stuff like that. So we've entered a summertime, summertime of uh, actually, um, you know, um, time of uh, summer. So um, good time to be out in the sun, getting some of that vitamin D and healing and stuff. I mentioned before that about the uh, grounding and how much it actually helped me. Regarding that, relieving some stress, but also healing your body because your body can't heal when you can't get any sleep and stuff. So um, I mentioned about the copper wires and stuff and then the grounding pads and stuff and that you can actually go out into the dirt and garden and grass barefoot and just touch that. Or if you're not around that, you can hit trees and stuff if you're at work listening to this stuff. Um, you can actually go outside and then touch a tree that's grounded in the floor, you know, a healthy tree or plant or whatever, and it just releases some of that um, electro energy or whatever that's in your body. So I've heard testimonies of people who actually were having a panic attack and, and uh, you know, just massive heartbeats or whatever, and they'll go outside and then uh, touch a plant or even going further and, and be barefoot on the grass and everything. And then automatically it just like uh, felt comfortable and healing on that. Um, there's actually been some cool scientific things that I've seen and uh, where a person actually I made a testimony of a person who actually took a, uh, one of those RF, uh, what is those, tri-field me- meters things, and then went in front of a, a 5G tower and then how it just permeated, you know, the radiations and levels and stuff. And then um, then all of a sudden, uh, you know, examined himself and then he's got these high energies and stuff of uh, EMF, uh, you know, electrodes or whatever you call it. And then touching a plant and then examining himself and it went to zero. So these things work. And I tested it out myself, you know, was in the, a, you know, the kitchen where, where there was a microwave oven going on. And then all of a sudden the uh, temperatures go up, you know, I mean, the, uh, the you know, the, the EMF or the RF, whatever frequency went up, you know, just like how an EMF thing or thing would, would produce, right? And then all of a sudden, go outside and then touching the plant, then examine yourself, and it goes to zero. So this thing really works. Um, and then when you take a frequency of, of music, and especially if it's God-inspired with scriptures and stuff like that, uh, um, it's like it's like you get a double shot, you know what I mean, of, of both ends regarding that. So I think it's really cool. So this thing is real, and uh, it actually brought a lot of comfort and a lot of good results regarding that testimony-wise and stuff like that. And if you don't believe it so, then it's all right, too. It's cool. But I think it's very relaxing on regarding that. I've noticed a lot of uh, <clears throat> times when we do this live in, in a uh, kind of a, a room setting thing, you know, when, when I play and stuff, I notice a lot of people fall asleep. When I started doing this back in 2010 or 8 or whatever back then, <clears throat> you know, I just started doing this. And and uh, not a lot of people uh, knew about this kind of stuff because most people would just take some worship songs, you know, church setting kind of thing. And just uh, take some worship songs and sing to God kind of thing. And then um, <clears throat> I felt God told me to, to just, you know, just go in a room and just uh, play some chords. Don't even, uh, um, you know, look at some song sheets or whatever and just, just strum and, and I'll speak through you. And so I've been doing that for ever since, for a long time. And uh, But I've noticed a lot of people fall asleep. And I was wondering, why are these people falling asleep? It's kind of... You know, for a musician, it's kind of a like rude thing, right? When people fall asleep when you're playing, it means that they're bored. But no, I guess the testimonies that I got where people actually was being comforted. They say, hey, you know, before I came here, I would be struggling. I'd be really super stressed out and everything. But then when I'm listening to your music, I just go to sleep. You know, it's the first time I ever had some full sleep in a long time. 
And so it's really cool. And then through that whole time, they'll get visions and 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 all a whole bunch of stuff, and they'll have a download of stuff. So we will have a whole thing. So it's kind of cool, you know. These things would be like a hour to hour and a half, and then two hours. Sometimes, sometimes four hours, you know. And so I had to limit it to a two hours or an hour and a half kind of thing. And our basis on that can do that. So, anyways, you can actually check out um, the live prayer thing. That's what I did for twenty four seven. That's up in line. Uh, now on the Rumble page, you can check that out. And so that's a good thing to do, play at work where you're driving to get that God scripture on it, but then also getting that, you know, frequency, God frequency is a healing on that. So I'll be doing more of the frequency stuff because I feel like it's important, especially in these days. Because, you know, you hear nothing but the problems. Everybody talks about the problems and all those things. But they nobody talks about the issues and how to resolve it, right? The solutions. And all they do is make you pay for solutions. And then even then, you don't even get a solution. So, there you go. So, anyways, thank you for joining in. I don't have much to say. But say enjoy the summer. Enjoy good things. And uh, may God bless you during this time. God bless you guys. Thanks for listening. Like what you're seeing, make sure you join with us in our prophetic worship gathering. It's a time of prayer, soaking and stuff every Thursday night at 730. And if you want to subscribe, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. We have another channel called Rumble with exclusive news. All that you can't find here. Um, if you want to give, we welcome that. Uh, you can donate to the link below. We really appreciate it. We're not making any money here on YouTube because of the censorship, but uh, we appreciate it. We also have a link for prayer as well. Uh, we started up a 24-7 prayer as well. You can check that out on Rumble, but the link's below. Appreciate it. Now let's go back to our presentation.